able to interact with the chocolate growth and then just drip some of that goodness down into the earth, you know, like, so water solid. You know, that could be a way that we're not noticing, like, that it's working because the ecosystem is raining, which is just mixing all the chemicals together. Mm. Yeah, well, definitely. Yeah. Like, the, the melanin that protects it from, like, yeah, but like um, it's still getting some moisture, yeah. and that it's moisture not, is still like. Cool. Oh yeah, totally. I mean, there's stuff. Water it's is just like universal. it's just like us. Like you know, every day we poop and pee and shed layers of skin and sweat and you know, hair, nails. All of these things have different compounds and different properties, and they're gonna have certain effects on the life that's around us and it's the same way with these mushrooms as it's raining the rain is hitting the mushroom and like these exudates and juices are just coming off of it in all kinds of different yeah, ways. ways life is juicy yeah. man yeah. i've been <laughs> noticing that life Wait, that reminds me of something. Um, when i was harvesting chaga it was right after a huge rain and it, a lot of it was kind of waterlogged mm -hmm. um Sorry. <laughs> Should I repeat myself? Yeah. <laughs> do you think that, I mean, do you, have you made tea out of fresh, or do you, always, do you always try it and then do it later? Um, I mean, make a little bit out of it fresh when I first get it, but for the most part, I like to dual extract all of my chaga. Um, I think this year I might get into doing more tea and in place of the tincture, just doing more um, chaga tea and like metal tea and basswood leaves and things like that. Just get into like real nutritive teas and just sipping them all the time. So I think it's really good in the uh, in the winter time. I'll just take a mason jar and wrap leather around it, and then you can have your your jar strung up to your shoulder and you just tuck it right in your jacket and throw your jacket on over your tea jar and it's like central heating for a solid yeah. hour and a half. Throw some hard boiled eggs in your pocket, you got your hand warmers. <laughs> I'm serious man, these are hippie hacks. You gotta know how to keep warm in the winter time. Hippie hacks. Yeah. Put the chicken in your jacket. Live chicken. Next level dude. I got a live chicken. <laughs> 24 hour heating. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>